Is it true that there's a lot of beautiful, smart, everywhere, talented, stand by their men, women in Ukraine? Yes. They're everywhere. There's yeah. a lot. There's a, an abundance of them. Yes. The trick is. So, Alvin, we've been talking about a lot of uh, <laughs> lessons learned in the trenches, in the dating trenches in Ukraine. A lot of sad stories. Uh, broken heart, a mm -hmm. little bit. Uh, broken wallet, certainly. Yes. But you have a happy ending. So, please, if you could share uh, your happy ending story. Uh, yes, my happy ending. Well, I've been lucky enough to actually meet a very lovely lady here. And, yes, they exist. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. You just need to know where to look. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, it's a great point before you share your story. Is it true that there's a lot of beautiful, smart, everywhere, talented, stand by their men, women in Ukraine? Yes. They're everywhere. There's yeah. a lot. Of, there's a, an abundance of them. Yes. The trick is finding them, right? No, they find you. The trick is you just need to be a little bit smart about what you're doing. Uh huh. How do you mean? Don't expect to come here and just drag the first pretty thing that you see home. It's not going to happen. You have to be genuine, you have to be real, and you have to be sincere. Mm -hmm. If you're not, they will shoot you down in flames. Mm -hmm. So you said they find you. That's got me intrigued. How do you mean? Oh, that's what happened to me. She found me. That's what happened to me too. Yeah. But it's funny, mine found me on the streets of Poltava. Uh, she said hi first. Um, and you know, they, they exist here in society in Ukraine. But the thing is, you and I live in Ukraine, so we have an abundance of opportunity, time opportunity, to find them or have them find us. Um, and, and it's totally possible, and they're here, and there's an abundance of them, we all agree with that. Uh, but what about the guy that only comes here for two weeks? How can you meet him in two weeks when you don't speak the language, you don't know the culture, you don't know the mindset, you know, all these obstacles standing in their way? Well, that's where you've got to be a little bit smart about it. Um, trust me, people like this man, you need to talk to people like this man, okay? Um, well, thanks, Alvin. You, I've lived it. I've been here for 12 months, and trust me, you can't come here and expect to take somebody home in two weeks and actually get away with it. And we'll have them be a good girl. Yeah. Because good girls don't go home in a couple of weeks. No. You need to earn their trust and that takes time. Right. The upside is, yes, you need to earn their trust. Mm -hmm. But once you have shown that you are genuine and sincere, trust me, she will open up and she will just grab you, take you, you need a seatbelt, you are in for the ride of your life. Mm -hmm. And that's been the way with me for the last six, nearly seven months now. Um, genuinely, she found me. She um, looked in the local paper, found my advert, said, I want to talk to you. And one coffee led to two coffees, led to three, and dinner, and yes, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you you have a business in Ukraine, and she found you via the business, uh, sort of looking. But then she liked you, and she met you, and you guys dated, and now you're happily ever after. Yep, and don't let anybody tell you that the language is a problem. She doesn't speak English, and I don't speak Russian. Mm -hmm. That is a great tip. Uh, guys ask me that all the time. Well. You know, I met this this girl. I like her. She likes me, but she doesn't speak barely any English. I always say my uh, message is to them is that the actual spoken language is not nearly as important as I call it the love language. If you study love languages, in in short, love language is just the connection, chemistry that you get on together. It is, and it's something that a lot of people don't understand. Um, totally. Another subject, but your body language, your body language would tell her much more about you than your voice will. Mm -hmm. And your confidence or lack of confidence, yes. how yeah. you how you behave with her, yeah. are you chivalrous? Are you a gentleman? Yeah, trust me, holding the door open is not a bad thing. It's mandatory here, yeah. right? I mean, it's rude if you don't be yeah. a gentleman here. Yeah. They look for that, and they really read into it. To okay. them, they, they read it, don't they read into everything you do, your yes. actions? Your actions speak so much louder than your words. 
In Slavic culture, they don't give much regard to words, what you say. They look at what you do. Would you agree with that? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, the Slavic people, uh, they're very hard markers when it comes to what you say. Um, mm -hmm. But the, if you have a genuine attitude that will show in your body language, mm -hmm. shows in the things that you do, they will cut you a lot of slack. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, very I much so. Agree. I would agree with that. So how, you're in a great relationship with a lady now, how, uh, Elvin, what, how do you know, how do you feel that she's really into you and, and that she sees a future with you? Because I find in Slavic cultures very different signs than women from the West. Uh -huh.